Good morning, y'all. Well, let me go ahead and explain my way. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing sunglasses this morning and I'm not being cool about it. Um, just so happens my age is finally catching up with me and uh, went to the uh, eye doctor and uh, got some cataracts going on. So I'll be wearing the uh, sunglasses and the uh, during the daytime trying to protect that from uh, some, of that, some of those UV rays and slow the progression. What we'll have to actually possibly end up losing sight in one of my eyes so no i'm not being cool i'm just trying to protect my eyes that's it but let me get old bella fed this morning and i got two more plum plum trees to, to uh plant today let's get she's waiting for you look at <laughs> let me uh let me get her fed real quick So I got two plum trees to plant. And I think I'm gonna plant them up here. And this guy up here. There's that uh, pear right there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one in between the right by this pear here, right in here. Put the other one right in here. I think that'll. That's where it need to be at. So let's uh let's get some things planted. So, uh, so the first spot is going to be right here. See, there's the other, that's the uh, pear tree right there. There's the grapevine. Put it right here. And this first spot right here where I was going to put one is where I had a potato patch out a couple years ago. And there's still a lot of good organic material right here. So this should work pretty good. Um, the second spot is like just a couple of feet over here and I had the garden in here before 
well, the, this other back half, but now it's where the banana trees are lined up. The bird feeders are all right there. and put the plum tree right here. So I have like one right here, one right there. That's good spacing apart. And both of these I'm getting ready to plant are uh, actually just native plum trees. So they should do pretty well. And so uh, let's, uh, let's get the things in the ground. What do you say? <laughs> So here's how the plums are lining up with the pear back there. So you get the plum, plum, pear. There's that other pear that's over there. Then that plum tree back there, which is that Santa Rosa. And grapevines, of course, banana trees. And I don't have to show you the, uh, my big banana tree. It's actually got like another whole shoot coming out the top now. This top one up here. So let's go another shoot. And the weird thing is, I wish you could see it too. He's got a shoot coming out there up at, up at the top. And right in here is still really, really thick. Where before when we felt that, there was bananas growing in there. And they're getting a lot bigger. They're growing down that that shoot. I don't know, but that's a brand new stalk coming out that top. So I'm kind of hoping that thing's going to keep on going. We got some baby shoots down here. So we're coming off the sides right here. There's, a, there's more. There's another one. There's a bigger one right there. You can see right there. So uh, it's got two baby shoots coming out of there, and they probably grow up too. It's fine with me. More to marry. Oh, I need uh, baby chickens. It's dark in here. Dark enough anyway. All right. The, uh, here's the baby chicks. You can see they're starting to feather all the way out now. 
So I doubt we'll need that that heat lamp much longer at night. Even at night, I think it's they'll, they'll be fine. I think they'll be good to go. And uh, within the next, you know, couple days, I can go ahead and let them out in the chicken run. Let them get started on that. <clears throat> you know, let them out during the day, and then just like we did our other chickens, just move them in at night, let them out during the day, move them in at night. <clears throat> get them used to their routine. So yeah, they're doing good. What's doing there, baby chicks? They're looking like scraggly teenagers right now. <laughs> I was just going to say, y'all, that uh, I just got done watering, and uh, I bet you a dime to a dollar to rain today. And the crazy thing is, I look on the radar every time before I water to make sure I ain't, I ain't double watering, so I ain't wasting my water and let, you know, good Lord rain everything. And uh, so anyway, I checked the radar. Radar's clear. Nothing's coming. But every time I do that, and water... Dang on if it don't rain that day. It's the craziest thing. If I don't if I don't water, it ain't gonna rain. I can promise you. If I if I don't water, it ain't gonna rain. If I do water, it's gonna rain buckets. Just buckets. <laughs> it's the craziest thing, y'all. And I'll show you the, the radar as it stands right now, and there ain't nothing on there, y'all. But I guarantee you it'll rain. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Telling y'all what, y'all think we feed Bella a boatload of food and stuff and she gets big big and fat? Mm-mm. We feed her a cup and a half of food in the morning, a cup and a half in the evening, and that's it, y'all. I'm telling y'all. The rest of the time she's going around, she's getting lizards, she's getting grubs, she's getting snakes, she's getting whatever. Well, she, you definitely know she gets the acorns. She told, them things are gone, y'all. But she does. She, she done got something in. She's over eating it right now. Mm. <laughs> she does it's crazy I can't believe the amount of stuff she actually picks up it shocks me it does it shocks me crazy pig that crazy pig alright I'll tell you the crazy story <clears throat> found out about this cataract mess this cataract it uh started the craziest way to my driver's license was coming back up ready to be renewed and I said well you know it's that time so I went to go get my eyes done you know my eyes checked and all and figured I'd just get her to send the letter in the DMV and go up there and grab a new license and everything be you know hunky dory uh -uh. <laughs> didn't work out that easy went to the eye doctor she said uh oh I said what's uh oh she's like dude you got some uh some cataracts going on and I said, oh, Lord, my age is catching up with him. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to be protecting my eyes for a while. I'm trying to prolong this thing as much as I can. Um, anyway, that's the crazy story, Dad. It wasn't like I was having any trouble or anything. I was just going to go to the DMV to get my dad on driver's license renewed. Found out about it. But anyway, you know, one of the things. But anyway, that's going to do me for today. Uh, God bless each and every one of you, as always. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you would, please like and subscribe. That should help us out. And I uh, hope I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.